The Gospel of Mark Introduction Introduction The Beginning of the Gospel of Jesus Christ, the Son of God. So begins the Gospel according to Mark, Mark 1 1. The shortest of the four Gospels, likely the first one written often overlooked because of the Gospels of Matthew and Luke. 2. Yet the Believer's Bible Commentary notes that because of its brevity, Mark's Gospel is an ideal introduction to the Christian faith. In mission fields, it is often the first book translated into a new language. Who was Mark? What makes his Gospel unique? Author and Date of the Gospel John Mark who apparently came from a wealthy family. His mother was Mary, who had a large house in Jerusalem. Acts 12.12 12. Some speculate the Last Supper took place in her home. Also that Mark may have been the young man who fled naked. Mark 14.51-52 and 52. His cousin was Barnabas, a Levite from Cyprus. Acts 4.36-37 and 37, and Colossians 4.10 Mark traveled with Paul and Barnabas, starting out on their first missionary journey, but turned back. Acts 13, verses 5 and 13, which caused trouble between Paul and Barnabas. Acts 15, verses 36 through 41. He later became a fellow laborer and comfort to Paul. Philemon 1, 24, and Colossians 4, 10 and 11. In Paul's final words, Mark proved useful to me for ministry. 2 Timothy 4.11 Who also accompanied Peter, who called him his son, his convert? 1 Peter 5.13 Who was in Babylon, possibly Rome, at the time? Traditions outside the Bible state. Mark was an interpreter for Peter. Papias 130 A.D. Mark composed his gospel mostly from Peter's memoirs. Justin Martyr, 150 A.D. Mark went to Alexandria in Egypt where he died in 64 A.D. The early and unanimous opinion is that John Mark wrote this gospel. Before 64 A.D. Certainly so if written by one who died in 64 A.D. Barnes suggests between 56 and 63 A.D. Some scholars date the book in the early 50s. A plausible date would be 57 to 59 A.D. Bible Knowledge Commentary Theme and Outline of the Gospel Its Theme or Purpose Written to Gentiles, perhaps Christians in Rome Note the following Jewish customs are explained Example, Mark chapter 7, verse 3 and 4. Aramaic expressions are translated into Greek. Example, Mark, chapter 3, verse 17, chapter 5, verse 41, chapter 7, verse 11. Roman reckoning of time is used. Example, Mark, 6, 48, and chapter 13, verse 35. Only Mark identifies Simon of Cyrene as a father of Rufus. Mark fifteen twenty one and Romans sixteen thirteen. Few Old Testament quotations are used. The focus appears to be on Jesus as the perfect servant. Mark emphasizes the deeds of the Lord more than his words. He records nineteen miracles, but only four parables. The deeds of one who did not come to be served, but to serve. Mark ten. 45. Thus, one could say that the theme is Jesus, Servant of Man. A Simple Outline The Preparation for Jesus' Ministry Mark 1, verses 2 through 13 His Ministry in Galilee Mark 1, verse 14 through chapter 9, verse 50 His Journey to Jerusalem Mark 10, verses 1 through 52 his ministry in Jerusalem, Mark 11, verse 1, through chapter 13, verse 37. His suffering and death in Jerusalem, Mark 14, verse 1, through chapter 15, verse 47. 
His Resurrection and Appearances, Mark 16, verses 1 through 13. His Great Commission and Continued Work from Heaven, Mark 16, verses 14 through 20. Jesus came from heaven to serve and returned to heaven to serve. Special Characteristics of the Gospel An early gospel, probably the first one written. All but 31 verses are quoted in the other Gospels, leading many to conclude that Matthew and Luke based their Gospels on Mark. A concise Gospel, the shortest of the four Gospels. Luke has 1,151 verses, Matthew 1,071, John 879, and Mark 661. Mark's entire gospel can be read aloud in 1.5 hours. A fast-paced gospel. Over 40 times he uses a word translated straightway or immediately. Two-thirds of the verses begin with and. The present tense is used frequently. Example, they come, he says, he sends. A vivid gospel. Mark presents lively little touches not found in the other Gospels, Hendrickson. He wrote with all the graphic distinctiveness and vividness of an eyewitness, Erdman. It may have been Peter's reminiscences, or perhaps his own, that account for such details. An Evangelistic Gospel It opens with the beginning of the Gospel of Jesus Christ, Mark 1.1. 1, 1. It closes with Go into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. Mark 16, verse 15. Conclusion What Mark accomplished with his gospel in the first century was significant. He left a record of the gospel preached by Peter, which emphasized the things that Jesus did. Acts 10, verses 36-39 that stressed the servitude of Jesus as a son of man. Mark 10, verse 45. It can serve an important purpose for us today, reminding us that Jesus came to serve and continues to serve. Hebrews 7, verse 25. That Christian discipleship likewise involves service. Galatians 5, verse 13. Mark's own life was one of early failure redeemed by later devotion, Erdman. He got off to a rocky start in his service for the gospel of Christ, but he persevered and proved to Paul that he was useful for ministry. May his gospel of Jesus Christ, who came to serve, inspire us to become servants who are also useful for the Master, prepared for every good work. 2 Timothy 2, verse 21. This concludes... The Gospel of Mark, The Introduction A PowerPoint study created by Gospel Outreach Association from executable outlines with permission from Mark A. Copeland.